Hey again everyone. Today I'm going to be taking a look at another foundational AI model from Music Generation. This one's called Diff Rhythm. This is a fairly new project that hasn't been fully released as of the time of this recording, which is the middle of April. But the base and full models have been released on Hugging Face and the code for the project is up on GitHub. There are some targets mentioned on the GitHub page like the Gradio front end and the collab scripts, but those aren't available yet. But let's take a look at what's here, because the project makes some pretty bold claims. I went over the U model and some of the forked projects in a past video, and while I was able to get some pretty great results after a bit of fiddling, it was just too slow for me to find it personally useful. Diff Rhythm, it seems, has found a way around that, claiming blazingly fast generations with full-length songs of 285 seconds taking around 60 to 70 seconds to generate. One nice thing about this project is that there is a Hugging Face demo that's still active if you want to try it out. However, I think the demo app uses different backend code than what's been released, and there are some pretty significant differences in quality between what I hear on the demo app and what I've been able to generate, but I'll go over the, that in a little bit. Let's take a look at some of the demo songs generated for the project. There are English and Chinese songs, but I'll only be focusing on the English generations, because I have no way of reasonably evaluating the Chinese. The reason I want to go over these demo songs and point out the areas where I think some of them sound good and others don't, is so you'll understand what I mean when I make similar critiques to the songs I generate from the downloaded model. If you want to skip all this, I've added timestamps to the description, but I think it's always worth carefully looking at what the authors publish before spending a ton of time trying to work with these tools on your own. I've been sucked into wasting too many hours by too many YouTube videos promising amazing results and got nothing at the end. This is very Broadway or Disney-like. There are some pronunciation issues and what I would describe as clipping, but it's like the words are being squished together. If this were a real performer, it would seem like they were having difficulty keeping time with the music, as they seem to be rushing some of the lyrics to catch up. Let's check out another one here. The differ the model takes timestamp lyrics and either a text description or an audio sample as inputs and generates a fully mixed song as its output. The demo page lets you listen to the published sample songs along with the audio prompts used to generate them. I won't be playing most of the input prompts here because they're all going to trigger YouTube's content ID and I don't want to fight 12 individual claims. Whispers paint the clouds with glow. Daylight folds its tired shoes. Silken winds trace my eyelids. Shadows stretch like shadows. I find this one a little less impressive. It's kind of the uncanny valley of music. It's a wall of sound, but musically it's all over the place. Though I do wonder how much of that is forced by the timestamps. Let's hear a little more. Well, I guess the model can get tongue-tied. This might be nonsense, but there's some potential here. The voice is pleasant, with quite a pitch range, but what sticks out to me is how consistent the voice is throughout the song. As you can see, the authors use DeepSeek R1 to generate the timestamp lyrics here. Some of them are a little nonsensical. I haven't investigated this too much, but it appears that the model performs worse if the timestamps are not realistically aligned to where they should be in a proper musical composition, if that makes any sense. In the game of life, like a poem set by a lady in red, you hear the last few words of your life with a haunting dance. Now you're both in a trance. It's time to, to cast your spell on the night. I'm not sure if these deep seek generated lyrics have been thoroughly evaluated. Optimally, you'd need perfectly timestamp lyrics for the ideal genre and tempo of the song you're trying to generate. I just don't think that DeepSeek Car 1 can perform that type of operation, since I don't think there exists a large dataset of lyrics with board-level timestamps. 
What sample did that use for inspiration? Oh, that's interesting. The generated music here is much less coherent though. Let's see what this used. Let's hear that sample generation. This is actually really catchy, and to me this is pretty indistinguishable from anything I'd hear on pop radio. I'm very impressed by this track, to be honest. What's this other abracadabra song like? Okay, this is very Taylor Swift, kind of bouncy. Again, I think this falls apart musically a little. Yeah, let's try one more. Tell me that I'm special. Tell me I look pretty. Tell me I'm an angel, sweetheart of your city. Say what I'm dying to hear. Cause I'm dying to hear you Tell me I'm that new thing Tell me that I'm revving Tell me that I got a big heart Then back it up with evidence I need it and I know why This one's cute and folksy It's not really a country song though Which is the genre they were targeting I'm gonna save the lyrics of this one And see if one of the Claude models Can work with them later on To build a more complete song and then we'll see if we can recreate this test with the full model. Girl in your eyes, you're one and only. So what's it gonna take for you to want me? I'd get all up if you told me that I'd be the number one girl in your eyes. Tell me I'm going real big places, down earth so friendly. And in through all the phases, tell me you accept me. Well, it's all I'm dying to hear. I'm not going to go over the installation of Diffrhythm in detail because the process was essentially just copy the installation instructions from the section on GitHub. However, you may need to make a couple of changes to get the model working well on a Windows 10 or possibly 11 machine. First, you may need to reinstall PyTorch with CUDA support for the correct CUDA version. In your Anaconda environment for Diffrhythm, launch the command NVIDIA-SMI to find out the correct CUDA version. Then use the corresponding installation command that you can find on the Getting Started page of PyTorch.org. Be sure to uninstall the prior versions of Torch, Torch Vision, and Torch Audio before installing the correct CUDA versions. You may also want to install the Onyx runtime with GPU support instead of the base Onyx runtime. For that, run pip install onyx runtime gpu. The installation instructions mention installing eSpeak NG for Windows. So download it from the linked URLs, install it, and don't forget to add the environment variables and reboot your system, or else you'll run into an error like this one. To add the environment variables, hit start, type environment into the search box, and then hit edit environment variables. Click environment variables at the bottom of the system properties box and select new. Name it phonemizer underscore eSpeak underscore library and hit browse file and then navigate to the eSpeak NG installation directory. Then select the lib eSpeak NG DLL. For the phonemizer underscore eSpeak underscore path variable, perform the same steps and browse to the base eSpeak path and add that. Activate the cond environment and navigate to the diffrhythm directory. If you launch the infer underscore wave underscore ref batch file, 
from the scripts directory, you can run the inference test example from the GitHub repo. By default, this uses the base model, which supports generations up to 95 seconds. And this uses a set of English timestamp lyrics and reference audio sample to generate a song. The full model extends generations up to 285 seconds. The infer prompt ref batch file will launch the inference command using lyrics and a text description for the instrumental track and genre. And as you can see here, on an RTX 3060 12 gigabyte GPU, the 95 second generations take just over 20 seconds. I'll regenerate the example included in the GitHub repo using the full model, which takes between 60 and 70 seconds on my RTX 3060. This is a regeneration of the included example using the example lyrics provided and a text reference for the prompt. The music prompt for this was Classical Genre's Hopeful Mood Piano. This seems to take about 7.5 or 8 gigabytes of GPU VRAM when using the chunk generation flag. And now I'll open this up in Audacity so I can see the waveform and the spectrographic view. That way I can confirm any oddities that I think I might hear. And I think this followed the music prompt pretty closely. Uh, what I've been finding is that the music prompts in text format work much better than providing an example audio file. I'm not a professional musician, so I can't sit here and break down the key and chord choices this thing makes when generating music, but I can say this sounds pretty good. There's still some of that stuttering type effect and a few odd pronunciations here and there, but this does feel like it has potential. But this is giving me stable diffusion or tortoise TTS vibes. It's not there yet in terms of relative output quality, but I think if some of the generation issues can be tackled, the owners of Suno AI should be more than a little concerned. Searching through the GitHub repo, I found a memo from the authors with a few news updates since the release. Apparently the text-only prompts were a hidden feature. And it's good it's not hidden anymore because I've had better luck with using text prompts than using audio samples. Also, the model can be used to generate instrumental tracks if no lyrics are supplied. Prompts can seemingly be any type of description, either a literal list of instruments and styles, or a vague description of the feeling the song may elicit. The people behind this project seem to have a good sense of humor too. When their hidden features were discovered, they came right on and embraced it, offering some early tips on using the tools. Hopefully this attitude will help nurture a community around developing and working with these models because collaboration was very helpful early on in learning how to train and work with TTS models like VITS and Tortoise. At the moment the GitHub for the project is pretty quiet but it seems like the authors have some big plans for future releases. But like I said it's very early days with this model and outside of the hugging face demo it's a bit cumbersome to use. There's no batch generation, and it looks like the base model is hard-coded into the GitHub code release. I've made a few changes to the inference scripts to make it a little easier for me to use, and I've linked the scripts that I've edited in the description, and I'll go over those a little bit later on. I'll wind up this video with a few of the test results I've gotten from this model. I had asked Claude AI to write some timestamped rap lyrics about an AI apocalypse, and tried feeding them in to differ them in a few methods. Here I used the embedded country music sample for the style embedding. And that's almost a song, kinda. Most of the results for non-acoustic music did very poorly. And maybe I'm using bad samples, or this could be differences between the Hugging Face demo and the GitHub code. So here I've sampled a rap song, Little Flip's Game Over. And I'll use that as the style embedding along with the Claude generated rap lyrics. And you can see that did not work at all. And this is something I run into when trying to generate a few genres of this. The lyrics end up sounding like they have a distinct accent, and the music generated is mostly just random noise. Here's another run of that same test. And here's another. I've tried various samples and different lyrics, but I haven't really found a secret sauce for generating anything that sounds like sample-based music. 
But let's take another look at that folksy song from the demo page and try to recreate that vocal. Tell me that I'm special. Tell me I look pretty. Tell me I'm the angel, sweetheart of your city. Say what I'm dying to hear. I have used the same sample as the demo page used for the country music to generate this. Tell me that I'm special. Tell me I'm a pretty. Tell me I'm a little angel, sweetheart of your city. Say what I'm dying to hear. Cause I'm dying to hear you. Tell me I'm the thing. Tell me that I'm relevant. Tell me that I got And I think this is pretty close to sounding with the demo page results. So the model works, but maybe sample-based music is difficult or just requires a different negative prompt embedding or something. It's very early on in the release and development of Diff Rhythm, so I don't think anyone really has a full idea of the capabilities or limitations yet. That I be number one girl in your eyes. I've extended the lyrics of the folk song and tried to adjust the timestamps a little. The model does seem very sensitive to the timestamps. I think these lyrics will still need more adjustment. But I think I'm going to leave that for another day. This video is already very long. Tell me that I'm special, tell me I look pretty Tell me I'm a little angel, sweetheart of your city Say what I'm dying to hear. I've linked the two adjusted inference scripts in the description And these should switch off to the full model if the length of the audio is over 95 seconds I don't know if I did it correctly, but it seems to work in addition to not being a musician, I'm also not a Python coder. I've also added generation patches using the num attempts flag, and this script will also write a timestamp file name and a corresponding metadata text file with the generation lyrics. As you can probably hear, my voice is already starting to give out, so I'll end this here and try to get this edited and uploaded. I'm going to be keeping an eye on this project, and if there are any significant developments, I'll try to get another video up and let everyone know. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. So what's it gonna take for you to want me? I give it all up if you told me.